Adam, how are you? What's up, Bernie? Oh, uh, not much. It's too early in the morning here. <laughs> what time is it there? It's 8.30 in the morning. Hey. Bernie, what were you doing last night? God knows what, right? You know what I was doing? What? I was up till 3 in the morning editing Happy Gilmore promos. But I had a good damn time, let me tell you. <laughs> Bernie, any man who stares at my face too long for a long night, it, it is something gonna, something's gonna happen in, in his life that's bad. So tell me, uh, tell me about this movie you made, Happy Gilmore, man. It's been a long time since I've seen you, since our days back in New Hampshire. How you been? What, what are you talking about? Are you a New Hampshire boy? No, not at all. I'm <laughs> in New York. Oh, that's good. That's good. Well, uh, the movie, uh, I had fun making it. You know, I got to whack a golf ball around a lot. I got to whack uh, uh, Bob Barker. That was nice. And, uh, you know what? what? You know, we had a screening for this here the other night. We saw the audience really liked it a whole lot, but uh, I'll tell you what, man, I saw Bob Barker kick your ass. I mean, what's up with that? Why is Bob Barker kicking your ass, man? I got to call you here. He got a few sucker punches in there, pal. In real life, I'd win that fight, and you know that. I mean, what do you mean this is fake? It's not real. I mean, I saw it with my own two eyes, man. Bob Barker kicked your ass. Are you, uh, you turning into a pussy on us or something, Adam? <laughs> Look, Bernie, uh, if you want to bring it on, I'm right here. You understand? Hey, no. no, no, Mr. Stanler, I'm sorry. I'm All sorry. right, well, let's show the respect. All right, sir. Hey, how <laughs> was it to work with Bob Barker? Was he, like, uh, always bugging you to have your pet spayed and neutered? No, 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 there was a lot of, uh, you know, we got in a fight. We got in a fight, so there was a lot of uh, going on in Bob's head, getting ready for the scene, you know. I was trying to be friendly. Hey, Bob, this is going to be fun. He was like, not now, man. I'm in the zone. You know, he was in the zone. I didn't want to interrupt that. Yeah, he, he was working it. So you wrote this movie, uh, who, you wrote this movie and who, uh, who helped you write it with you? Yeah. It, this guy, Tim Hurley, he's my buddy since uh, college. We were roommates. Coincidentally, we, we, we got hooked up as uh, roommates, right? We were roommates for four years and we always talked about writing and uh, we were writing stand-up comedy together and stuff. And then we, uh, we just started writing uh, screenplays. We wrote Billy Madison and we wrote this together. All right. You yeah. got out of college in four years? Yeah, well, I think I graduated, too. I don't remember. It's some, something about it. They hand, handed me some diploma. I didn't read it, but I'm pretty sure it says I'm out of there. <laughs> Not only a funny comedian, but a role model for the young people. Yes, that's right, Bernie. This guy that helped you write, his name is uh, uh, Tom Hurley? Tim Tim Hurley? Timmy Hurley, yeah. Timmy Hurley. Timmy Hurley. He's the, he's the point guard for the Kings, isn't he? That's right. He's having a good year. Yeah, he recovered well from that auto wreck. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, all, he's, he's back, and he's ready to, ready to shoot. Do me a favor, tell him my family's prayers are with him. <laughs> Bernie. <laughs> Bernie's out of his gourd. <laughs> so tell me about this crowd of people you got here with you. You got not only uh, your old buddies there from Saturday Night Live, uh, Chris Farley and David Spade from Saturday Night Live, you got Ellen DeGeneres now too out there with their movie that she's got out. And a lot of comedians to compete with out there. That's nice. I wish uh, there's, there's plenty of room for all us uh, comedians, don't you think, Bernie? Oh, Don't try to start a feud, Bernie, because I'll come there and beat the hell out of you. You heard me. I'm not afraid of you, man. I heard the, I, I, I heard what, I heard the whole thing about you. You're all talk, Bernie. Uh, who, where'd you hear that from? Uh, Cy. Oh. I gave no, me a buzz last about. night. He goes, Bernie's a little bit, uh, yeah, 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 like that. But when you get down to you grab him, he'll go, please, let go of me for the love of God. So tell me, when's the next time you're coming down to Austin, man? You had a sold-out show. When oh, you yeah. That, that was awesome. I, I hope to come back soon. I, I, I loved it. I loved hanging out there in Austin. Yeah, I'll tell you what. When you come down, when, next time you come down to Austin, you got to come on the show. You got to come down and be on Sneak Peek. I will, but Bernie, I'm telling you, you should get someone else to do the interview because if I see you in person, you're a dead man. You hear me? <laughs> Okay, well, Adam, I hope the movie does wonders, man. I hope it kills at the box office, and you're like a multi-jillionaire in just a couple of months here. But uh, thanks for coming on the show, and uh, I hope a lot of people come and go see your movie and that it's very successful. And just please ignore the guy behind me. Cool, man. You're a good guy, Bernie. Thank you. All right, Adam. Thanks for talking to us.